Well, the balance of power in the state house is on the line May 16th in a single special election in Delaware County. If the Republican wins in the 163rd district, the GOP would regain the majority. The two main candidates debated in our studio today. It will air on this week in Pennsylvania, and what you see may intrigue you. And thank you, Dennis. I'm excited, actually, for the attention that our small little district um, is getting across the state. Democrat Heather Boyd, Republican of Katie Ford, sure one of them likely the replaces Mike Zabel, who resigned amid sexual harassment allegations. Both women are pro-choice, despite what one calls misleading so ads so against it. her. Uh, my opponent has... Uh, just enacted a huge hundred thousand dollar campaign to smear me on this issue and if you had just asked me on it i would tell you that number one i also believe it's a woman's right to choose both support even more money for schools boyd a former school board member says fair funding would be her number one fight the republicans have continued to make that decision to underfund those school districts and i would ask the governor to fund our schools equitably and both say they've been personally touched by the opioid crisis. I am a sibling of two heroin addicts. Ford wants more help for those in recovery. So we're giving them 30 days to be in rehab, and then we're throwing them out into the street. If you're lucky, you get into a really good program, and they'll extend it a couple months. I'm really glad that the state actually just um, allowed fentanyl strips to be used and that Narcan is going to be available over the counter. Both also support further restrictions on guns. I do think that we need to make sure that our guns are stored safely. They should not be in the hands of children. They should not be in the hands of those with uh, um, who have said they would hurt themselves or others. I think that they should even take it one step further and you should be able to have a training course before you're allowed to leave with that gun. Though many Democrats want a different presidential candidate in 2024, Boyd's okay riding with Biden. Well, I don't know who else will be in the race, but I do think that Joe Biden has done a tremendous job for Pennsylvania. Ford admits she voted for Donald Trump in 2020, but what if it's Trump-Biden again in 2024? I think I would abstain voting, to be quite honest with you, because I think neither of them are qualified candidates. A lot of interesting answers. We should note there's a libertarian, Alfie Goodwin, in the race. Uh, she could not join us today. You can see that entire debate on a special edition of This Week in Pennsylvania, Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 10 a.m. right here on ABC 27.